Good to hear there uh, in the 40s. I'm having fun over here with Moppet. <laughs> yes, we always have fun with Greg Riley here to talk about a very special uh, situation going on. Let's and Moppet. Right. Yes, We're yes, always. We're talking about, um, well, people who have pets, but, you know, if you need help getting your pets, Fixed. Really? We were talking about <laughs> maybe those <laughs> low-income families that need. I think she's trying to give the visual aid here of what what exactly. I know, we're Moppet. About. I'm trying to tell what's going on here, and she's just like la da. -da. <laughs> uh, actually, what we're going to be talking about is Project Hope. Now, this is a program for uh, low-income families to get their dog or their cat spayed and neutered. Uh, it's going to be a change of location this year, where it used to be at the Salvation Army. It's going to be now at Meeting Room A and the main library, uh, Vigo County okay. Public Library. So a uh, few things for us to kind of go over really quickly. Uh, it's going to be between 1.30 and 3.30. You need to have proof of ID, proof of residency that you're in Terre Haute, uh, some sort of proof that you're on some sort of government assistance program, like say food stamps or SSI, who's your health wise or Medicaid, Medicare. And uh, obviously there'll be about four veterinarians here in this town that are going to be participating in this. One's Honey Creek Animal Hospital, Brown Animal Hospital, Cross Clinic and Pet Care Animal Hospital. Okay, so if you have, for example, more than one pet, right. will they take in more than one pet, or how exactly does that break down? You know, absolutely, yeah, they will take in more than one pet. You know, they may have to stagger sure. where they can either get their dog spared, neutered, but certainly that can be, you know, taken care of. Sure. Now, should they bring their pets to the to the event? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't bring your pets to the library because God knows, uh, you know, I'll get in trouble for it and they'll be blaming me. Really. <laughs> The camera's over here, sweetness. Thank you. <laughs> Just a ham <laughs> and a half. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, definitely don't bring your pets and uh, just bring your uh, proof of ID and so forth. And hopefully uh, Dawn, who's a wonderful person who's uh, coordinating this event, will take care of you. Well, yeah. and that's just a good point to bring up. The actual uh, spaying and neutering is not going to be happening at, at, the, at, the at that library. event. library. So that no. will be scheduled for another time and another right. reason. You know, Greg, just talk about it. And we speak about it a lot here at News 10, but mm -hmm. the animal control situation it is an issue that needs to be addressed and you know talk about how helpful this event can be to fix that problem very much so I mean you know one it's gonna you know really just beautify the city I mean no one wants to drive around I certainly don't want to drive around sure. seeing you know a stray dog or a stray cat uh, there's gonna be some hopefully another program that's kind of in the works right now that I'm not really allowed to talk about it's sort of percolating right now that's gonna be helping cats you can't give us an inside scoop no not no. yet no. Huh? Had okay. ask. Had not ask. yet, <laughs> not yet. But, um, you know, certainly no one wants to see that, and obviously that's going to reduce the population, and hopefully maybe one day no one will have to watch me on Friday <laughs> afternoons anymore. So Now, that would be a good thing there, Greg. Oh, we, we love, love seeing, seeing your face, you and all those no, cute no, no, puppies no, no. and kitties. But we'll have you bring in your, your decorative hats or something different so that you want it to bring in oh, animals right? need to be rescued. Oh, okay. Rescued. Adopt something one of like my that. decorative yes. hats. My <laughs> wife will like that. I've got plenty of them. Now, just to remind people, if they want to take a, a part in this event, it is completely free. Mm -hmm. Completely free, and again, the registration is going to be on the last Saturday of each month, except for February, again, at the public library between 1.30 and 3.30. Okay. All right, and if people want to get more information, what's the best way for them to do that ahead of time? Uh, you can call Brown Animal Hospital, ask for Dawn Lori, or you can uh, basically email her at 4pets, uh, and I don't remember what the email address is, but sure. I'll put it on my Facebook page. Sure, it's actually on our screen. We are being told now, I'm looking for it there. Hope for pets yes. at yes. outlook.com. Yes. Again, that's hope for pets at outlook.com. Yeah, better yep. vision than I do. I couldn't see that there. But uh, yeah. yes, Greg, and also they can always get in contact with you too if they sure, have any questions. Sure, absolutely. Yes, and if we actually are trying to get in contact with Greg, here's a number on our screen if you'd like to get a hold of him. 